more than 30 billion devices. 30 billion devices, that's the estimated number of devices connected to the internet today. And it's not only the number of devices which is impressive, it's also the amount of information we exchange every single day on the internet. So it is estimated that we exchange up to five exabytes of data every single day. That number is probably quite abstract, so let me make it concrete to you. If you think about the mug of coffee as being one gigabyte of data, then the volume of the Great Wall of China would be one exabyte of data. And we exchange many of those every single day. So I studied computer science, and during my studies I had a lot of algorithms, software. But with time, I think electrical engineers are actually even better equipped to deal with internet technologies because of this combination of hardware and software and the need to combine both. Not everything is great in the internet, though. Let me just give you three examples. The first example is that the internet infrastructure is continuously under attacks. A recent example happened close to us, where the Swiss Confederation itself was the victim of a flooding attack. A second problem is that large pieces of the internet infrastructure often go down, not because of problems, but because of human mistakes. Oopsie. A recent example happened in October 21, where the Facebook infrastructure itself went down, including um, Instagram and WhatsApp, for a few hours due to human mistakes. And finally, a third problem is congestion. Oftentimes the internet is congested, for instance, during a video streaming a session or an online game. So in my group, we try to address these three problems and many others. For that, we use many different tools and techniques. One of them is to build new routing algorithms that can bring your internet data from point A to point B alongside better path. A second one is to build mathematical models that allow us to reason about network behaviors and reason about the correctness and guarantee the correctness. And then finally, we are also building new types of internet infrastructure using state-of-the-art network devices that can forward terabits per second of traffic. What I really like in my research area is that it nicely combines hardware, network devices that can forward traffic very, very quickly, with software, like routing algorithms that drive this traffic from one point to another. So by studying electrical engineering, you will be able to bridge the gap between the hardware and the software. And that gives you a tremendous advantage to design new internet technologies, the future internet technologies.